Well, hundreds of African immigrants protest at a Laredo port of entry Monday morning. That's right, Max. Well, they're claiming not enough is being done by both the United States and Mexican officials to help them get asylum into the U.S. Our Alex Gano has more on the group allegations and what U.S. custom officials have to say. Immigrants from Africa made up of men, women, and children stood their ground waiting for answers outside the Mexican Customs Office near Laredo Bridge. We want to cross. We have almost a month here in Mexico, and we can't even register. That's why we're here at Customs. After a long wait, a Mexican custom official stepped out to speak to the group. Among the hundreds, a handful of immigrants had a private meeting with custom officials while the rest waited patiently in front of Bridge 2. Yeah, custom officials are talking to some of us. The group not only alleges they are unable to meet with U.S. custom officials for an appointment, but that the agency is preferring one particular group over the others, Cuban immigrants. La Dona. We are worried because of the shelters the Cubans are paying and us Africans, we can't. We don't understand what's happening. African immigrants are also claiming mistreatment at city shelters. There are so many people, not enough space. If you take your camera, you'll see. It's so bad. Statements sent by U.S. Customs and Border Protection, they say in part, the number of inadmissible individuals CBP is able to process varies based upon case complexity, available resources, medical needs, translation requirements, holding and detention space, overall port volume, and ongoing enforcement actions. They go on to say port of entry facilities were not designed to hold hundreds of people at a time who may be seeking asylum. And they are also charged with keeping the flow of legitimate trade and travel. Right now, they say the Department of Homeland Security is utilizing their limited resources as efficiently and effectively as possible in the midst of the current surge at the southwest border. The solution is to have Congress respond to the repeated requests for additional resources and to address pull factors for illegal immigration. If not, they will continue to experience capacity challenges. For KGNS News, Alex Scott.